Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Starbound Fracking Universe. So, right off the bat here, we are in something a little new, by which I mean that we are playing with our mechs here. Since it, I noticed that the mech mission is available, and it just kind of seemed reasonable to me. Also, is it just me, or does this, uh... Does this mission seem a little different from the regular vanilla normal mission. It's been a while since I've played, so I honestly can't, I honestly can't tell. There we go, got like maximum shields going here, which is always good. There might be stuff hiding in there, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it for now. All right, so yeah, before we even think about going to do the whole Urkius horror mission, it just seems appropriate that, uh, yeah, we we hang out and get our mechs. I mean, who knows? We might be able to do some cool stuff with this. And also, if you are wondering, uh, just to be so, uh, you know, there's no, uh, confusion, uh, as if I recall, I think even this health bar and just, like, also the fact that we can, like, crouch and stuff is from the, uh, the mech mod, whose actual name I appear to forget a little bit. Some of this has got to be fracking universe, though, because apparently we can stomp on things. I don't remember that being. I don't remember that being a thing that we could do. Oh, my mech is not too large. Oh, actually, maybe it is. I was really hoping I'd be able to like crouch under that, but apparently not. All right, I feel kind of bad for not reading. Oh, USCM. This is, well, unless that, I, I always assume this with like the United Systems mod because that's what added a bunch of the, uh, like the United Systems stuff back into the game. But then again, now that I think about it, the vanilla, just like the vanilla mech update added in some references to the USCM, particularly when it came to the mechs and stuff. Hmm, let's see, you made it back. It's not a surprise in my voice. It's elation. As a reward, I can give you enough spare components for you to deploy your own mech for space travel. Head over to that mech assembly station to customize it. Oh, you know what else we're also totally gonna have to do? There's a mod that lets us have, like, cosmetic slots on our mech, so we're we're totally gonna have to take care of that. Alright, find some salvage stuff, and then we can go salvage some stuff. That's cool. Falcon body, explorer body, brute body, guardian body, cool horn. And of course, we've got our RV mech stuff. That's also always fun. All right, anyway. And you know what? Before we even go to the Urkius mission, let's just let's just trigger this just so that uh, like we know it's there. And of course, there's uh, no, I was going to say space bound, but that's not what it's called. The uh, maze bound. There it is. Maze bound 64. See all the star bound lore. It's slowly coming back to me. Piece by uh, simple piece. All right, let's uh, ourselves a couple of chickens here and maybe a couple of ribs. I forgot what adds ribs. I'm sure it's a mod, but I can't recall what mod does that. Also, we'll cook these just, uh, yeah, so we can unlock new recipes because that's always cool. Popcorn, mushrooms, did that unlock anything new for us? Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I'm not really paying that much attention to that particular aspect of things. At least not as of yet. I hope I'm not missing anything by not having the uh, Fracken Universe version of Sale, but again, I'll I'll look into that eventually. Oh yeah, and also off camera, yeah, we get some of these uh, these missions. They actually exist. We could also go to the Science Outpost, but it's probably more important we do the Urkius mission today and then we'll continue exploring other stuff next time. It also occurs to me, you know what's never important thing we're gonna have to do is go ahead and grab ourselves a, um, a thing. The thing in this case being uh, a grappling hook, yeah. Because rope is nice, but grappling hooks are considerably better, you know, of their ability to grapple and everything. Oh, you know what? I, I just realized I forgot something. I was gonna sell all of these weapons before I started recording, but then I didn't because I'm an idiot. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Well, the best of us wouldn't have forgotten in the first place, but, you know. 
I, I think we can uh, cut poor Gaslight a little bit of slack, maybe, possibly. Oh, you know what? I didn't even make any armor yet, so... Yeah, this is gonna be... It's gonna be a fun mission. <laughs> oh boy, Gaslight. You enjoy all the pain, don't you? You crazy... Crazy, pain-loving pain person. Nope, nope! Oh god. Good job. You know what? This is perfectly- this is fine. This is fine. We can- Oh, sweet and merciful baby Jeebus! Oh god. Oh, I don't have the wall jump! My greatest weapon! And I don't have access to it. Alright, alright. You know what? It's, it's not gonna be that bad. I mean, it's not like the the old, old early access- Oh god, only one damage at a time here. Like, this is not like the old, old early access days when, um... When this was, like, the most difficult mission of all time. Actually, I don't even think I was playing Starbound when that was the case. Like, way back when this, uh... This whole Urkius mission first got implemented. Actually, we're not even taking that much damage anyway, so... All things considered, we're fine. We're perfectly... Uh, perfectly great. Oh. Give him a little poke. Yeah, I mean, we're taking some damage. But it's not that bad. I mean, we actually are kind of, kind of dying here. So maybe I should do a little bit more to, you know, not die. That's generally a good thing. But, uh... At the same time, I'm not terribly worried either, since these don't have, like, the greatest... They don't have the greatest range. Oh boy. Oh goody. Oh. I mean, yeah. God, I hate touch damage. You know, there's a mod that gets rid of touch damage. Oh, come on. That, I have the dash... Fi oh god, they just, they just keep coming. I swear there's more of them in this mission than there normally are. Oh, what's the point in dodging if the dodging doesn't... Yeah, it's not... The, the shield doesn't last long enough to be actually practically useful. You know what? I should have even made... Do I have uh, the ability to make more healy, potiony things? The answer is no. Ah, oh boy. Oh, Gaslight. Then again, if we if we actually do manage to win, then I guess it's uh, a sign of, you know, my triumph and achievement. There's got to be something up there, right? Oh, 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 I see you, you, you hideous, disgusting blob monsters from hell. Very blobby and hell-like. Wait for it, just, yeah. God. I would hate to become one of these horrible, disgusting creatures. They're both horrible and disgusting. And also, I feel exceptionally bad for having uh, stupidly, very stupidly, cannot emphasize the amount of stupid, not, uh, not building more, you know, powerful weapons. Fortunately, though, I mean, it's not like we need... God, when the NPCs are doing more damage than you, you know that you've screwed up. Like, these guys are supposed to be, like, the useless... The useless, just kind of, like, sitting in the back, uh, kind of guys. If only I could attack through the floor there. But alas, we can't, because this game was well designed in that regard. If nothing else, we can say that it's got appropriate... Hit detection for the things that should be getting hit and detected. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. You did not eat your bandage, sir. Yeah, there are- there is definitely more of these things than I remember. Oh, hell. But what mod is it that's giving- that's causing more of these things to show up? than in vanilla. What if the many mods that I'm running are doing this to me? In oh, come on, that was bogus right there. 
But if it is bogus, then I have done it to myself. Alright, yeah. Well, there's a lot of these creepy crawlies, aren't there? Very creepy, very crawly. Also, 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 there is... Oh, how do I get in here again? I know there's a way in there, but it's... I can't just drop through the floor, no. That would be too simple. The pieces are slowly coming back, but I've still got a lot to learn. Oh, I really should have emptied my inventory before coming here, because then... Then we would be able to truly loot and pillage all of this stuff, which would be good. As I do enjoy looting and pillaging. Probably comes from my Danish ancestry. All that Viking blood. Much Viking! Alright. And away we go. Gosh. It's so dark. It's so very dark. But then again, I guess that's to be expected. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only Urkius and pink elephant monsters. It was written, so it must be true. Aha! Oh god, we're not gonna have enough room for the whole space outfit. But then again, getting the whole space outfit and just all the, uh, all the sweet loot is not terribly important. Plus, I mean, selling... Selling all of those weapons aren't going to get us that much money when there's considerably better ways of farming pixels in this game. So yeah, we won't, we won't worry our pretty little heads about it too terribly much, just a little bit. Oh wait, I just remembered, the Arceus monster crystal demon from hell. Uh, in fact, oh god, why are there so many? Why are there so many? It's as if this mission wasn't hard enough. And some sinister, sinister voice said, You know what? How could we make this mission harder? I know. Let's just triple the amount of Urkius mutants that are here. Actually, you know what? Seeing as we don't have the inventory space anyway, we'll worry about, um... We'll worry about, you know, fully exploring and getting all the stuff later, perhaps. I mean, we've done it like 10,000 times before on all the other, uh all the other playthroughs that we've had, so it's not like we're missing anything too, uh, you know, too new and unique and exciting. Good job, Gaslight. Alright. So yeah, we'll just focus on getting through the mission, and then off-camera I'll go back and grab all the, all the goodies, as it were. Has it truly been so long since I've played? Like, I'm, I feel almost like this is a slightly different layout. Probably just me. Actually, e even as I even as I say that, I, I I think to myself, you know what? This is actually a familiar place, and it's all coming back to me now. It may take a while, but it all comes back to me sooner or later. There we go. Kill him. Stab him. Stab him again. Don't don't do it. I don't want your pink body fluids all over me. That's gross. And probably not very sanitary. And I, I am nothing if not ever so slightly germaphobic. And by ever so slightly, I mean I can be kind of ridiculous about it. A lot of the time. But I'm sure... I'm sure we can handle ourselves. Maybe. There we go. Alright. But yeah, note to self. Sell all of our junk when we get back to mission control. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, there's also, ah, you know what, what the heck, I'll just, I'll junk some stuff. I, well, yeah, I'll junk these, because these aren't worth, they're not worth that many pixels. All right, moving on then. I mean, we're still not gonna worry about collecting everything, but, you know, we'll we'll get what we can. Alright, Orkius recordings are up to 94 rads, apparently. That's good. Got, like, Satan over here. I don't suppose I can just... Uh, why is the locking mechanism on the other side of the door? Sorry about the AI. 
Well, don't apologize. I mean, unless you're one of the people responsible for writing it. Oh, God. All right. Nicely done. Nicely done. Ooh. Silk. Bee silk. Didn't even know bees produce silk, but, you know, you learn something new every day. Actually, are these worth much? No, not really, so we won't worry about keeping them either. Good times, good times. Right. Oh yeah, that's where the ever lever is. I mean, we might as well try to get up there and... Ow. Oh god. Actually, you know what? That wasn't so bad. I'm not as scared of you as I once was. I'm still very scared, but not as scared. Hey, don't don't beat me up, man. I'm just I'm just doing my job. Just like you're doing yours. You're being a mutant. Oh boy. Anyway, the important takeaway from this is that we're actually oh, we're actually probably maybe going to get out of this alive. Hmm. I mean, these don't actually sell. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Like, they don't actually sell for exactly what, uh... God, it's so hard to see, but there's... I'm pretty sure there's nothing up there. Pretty sure. 42% sure. Which is, you know, the best... The best kind of sure. In, you know, some... Some universe. All right, we'll uh, we'll definitely come back to that when we actually have a grappling hook. Can I like sneak past you? Kind of, but not really. All right, yeah. And we already know all the like secret Urkius things and the levers and the switches. Oh god, he's. Wait, you guys take fall damage too? Nice. All right, I'll just I'll just go ahead and shoot you. 101 rad. There's also something big down there. I mean, we know what's down there. We've we've been here before. We, we the uh, the Lefia company they dug too greedily and too deep. Also, I've got to say, there's a part of me that feels kind of sad that Lefia is in fact not a human corporation, because humans are kind of played up in Starbound as like being like these like saintly figures who were too good for this sinful earth, and ultimately had to die at the hands of the Rune. But somehow, yeah. Uh, somehow they are loved and treasured by all, but then again, I suppose part of that is because, you know, most, uh, most, most writers are human and are naturally going to attempt, oh dear, to make their own, their own species look good. I mean, it's what I would do if I was a writer, which I sort of am. Well, that didn't save me. Oh god. Yeah, don't, uh, don't try that again, Gaslight. Quick, before it can summon another one of its mini-me's. Alright. Okay. And then it's going to widen its thing over here, and then we can just, like, duck down. We should... Nope, we cannot save ourselves. You know, this is actually turning out to be fairly easy. Haven't even made any armor yet. Ah, hell. Huzzah! Destroyed it. Good. Oh, and we even got the, uh, we got an Erichabud egg and an Erkiaside. What the heck is an Erichabud? That's a good question. Hey, I didn't rescue that guy from getting mutated so that you could kill him. But then again, he did drop pixels when in death, so, I mean... In death, he has proven to be more useful to me than he was in life. Which is very dark and cynical, I suppose, but there you have it. Alright. There we go. Alright, I'll read that, just so we add it to our codex. Actually, to be honest, I don't need to keep any of these things, because we've got them in our, in our library over on uh, our world from our, our last Elysium playthrough. So that's good. All right. Got a capture pod and all kinds of good stuff. And we actually, 
I mean, I guess by not caring about grabbing any of the, uh, the secrets and stuff, we were able to beat this mission in record time. So huzzah, huzzah, I suppose. But before we get around to doing anything else, let's actually wander over to the shop here and sell all of our all of our stuff that we're not actively using right now. And by that I mean all of these weapons here. Actually, don't I can sell this stuff too. Because we've got copies of it elsewhere. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with Wow, that's actually a lot of pixels. I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh, those actually aren't worth anything. So I just have to garbage them, I guess, if I don't want them. Alright. Good to know. Actually, what else can you sell me? Paramart person. Got our shipments. Let's see. Sell food and produce with a value of 30% by teleporting to Terramart. Sell food and produce to Terramart from the comfort of your ho- Wait, what is this? Sell food and produce with a value of 30%. Does that, does that basically imply that it's selling better? Because, because, I mean, this doesn't even say how much it sells for. Hmm. I guess we're also going to have to get some of these eventually. Quasi-sentient being chow. Okay. Oh, here it is. Hatches into a tiny erkabud, a bouncing lunar creature. Okay. I mean... Oh, it's some kind of farmable thing. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and repair our ship, because that is awesome. I do like having a nice fixed ship. Excellent. Alright, there we go. So I suppose... What is actually next? Become space worthy. I guess we've got that. And of course, we've got all these other things right here parts and labor, Dreadwing the Penguin. Plenty of things we could be doing. I mean, we're going to want to upgrade stuff before we go deal with. Uh, who's his face? What's this? An EPP augment. 15% energy regen and also gives us glow. Oh, okay, that's cool. Just gotta remember, if the combinable augments don't combine them... I wonder if there's a Fracken Universe patch for a combinable augment so we could actually, you know, combine Fracken Universe augments without, without bricking our game, because that would kind of suck. Alright then. Off we go talking to Ol' Esper, getting our missions and stuff. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna kind of skip the dialogue for the time being. Ooh, a strange map. Just for now, because, I mean, we've, we've read it many, many times. So, we'll finish this mission and then we'll wrap things up. And then, next episode, we'll go to the Science Outpost and we'll start focusing mostly from there on out, I guess, on... Yeah, science-y stuff. Fracking Universe and Alephian Alliance and other things of that nature. So that we are all set for victory. Because victory is kind of important. Uh, excuse me. There we go. It's always good to scan these things. Make sure they're part of our printer. That. A little bit of this. Tech. It's all good. And yeah, we gotta go find this lost teddy bear. Because everyone likes having a teddy bear. No, I've never really used the signs function, but they're there. They exist. It's a thing. Yeah, poor, poor Infinity Express. They don't matter, apparently. It's all about the penguins down here. Good old penguins. You can always rely on penguins to do penguiny things. All right, you've got all the cool weapons over there. Beak easy. Always a nice place to visit. There we go. All right. Well, that takes care of everything. Everything to do with that. So now we can go wrap up this mission. We've got all our weapons and stuff. I mean, I guess a, another big thing is going to be upgrading our matter manipulator. Yeah, I suppose this should be the first thing we get. So we can acquire liquids, because that's always important. 
always important indeed at our little tour of the outpost and yeah i guess i guess that's it so till the next time as always thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below let me know what you're thinking and i will see all you in the next video